Well, it's a very, very Metal Gear Monday Running across the desert trying to practice my stealth And I hope that I can master it some way Cause my previous loud approach is often bad for my health It's Venom Snake on a Monday Look at him in his camouflage It's Venom Snake on a Monday Messing up the buttons and battling guards We're battling guards Oh yeah The map has been updated the hell was that noise? Better hide as a box. Oh shit. Right, well. Hello. It's me. Analysis complete. Venom snake. Oh, there's another one over there. It's a Monday. Analysis complete. Oh, he's got some points to him. That means it's time for Venom Snake on a Monday. This is a weekly Let's Play where we quite obviously play this game, Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain. And evidently, where I left off last week, I think I vaguely remember this now. I got caught and I fell off a ladder over here. I got shot while trying to climb this ladder, and this ladder is very important because. I, I need it in order to listen to my favourite Metal Gear related song. We've we've gotten through the main story in this game and we're kind of in the end game which seems to amount to a lot of seemingly non-connected side quests and every now and then a cutscene will come up prompted by uh, different things compared to how um, other people seem to have said they've played the game and had different things happen to them than what they've seen in this ridiculous attempt at a playthrough. Oh shit. Don't see me please. Oh, they crashed into my jeep. They'll be okay. They'll be okay. They'll get past it. No problem, right? They'll get past it. Sorry, I'm going to do a comment section thing in a second, but this happened, so I just want to observe what's happening here. Oh, they're getting out. Analysis complete. Hmm, it appears to be a jeep. What are you going to do about it, buddy? What's your plan? Taking what does Oslo have to say? What the hell? He almost killed himself. Oh, they've dealt with that. Okay, they've dealt with that. They've dealt with that. Off they go now. They've destroyed my jeep. But, you know, what are you going to do? Off they go into the night sky. Across the desert roads. That's how you get to the night sky. See? Night sky is over there. Only way to get there, obviously, by going across the desert plains. Along these roads. Magical, mystical, magical rainbow road. Off they go. To tell nobody about the jeep they just destroyed. Sure is lucky that these guards don't ask questions. Ugh. Alright, okay. I don't even think this is a main quest, by the way. I just I like the I like the tense atmosphere of being this close to an enemy base and doing my comments section. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going I'm to read some comments from last week's episode and then we're going to descend upon these people like a swarm of locusts in leopard print pyjamas. You heard me correct, a swarm of locusts in, that's right, leopard print pyjamas. This isn't, this isn't actually a sneaking suit for Snake. It's, he's, uh, he got woken up. He was actually having a nap when they called him for this mission and he was in his PJs still and he be begrudgingly accepted to join. He begrudgingly agreed to join them. Okay, right. Comments. 
Tommy Flanagan. All capitals, but I'm not going to yell it. Give her the tits of Sniper Wolf and the sniping skills of Sniper Wolf and the compelling backstory of Wait No. And that's quoted to Hideo Kojima probably. If I had played Metal Gear Solid 1, then I would know who Sniper Wolf is, but I haven't, so I'm just going to assume that that joke is correct and move on. But thank you for the comment anyway. And by the way, he's talking about Quiet, the sniper in this game, I'm sure. That's the only bit that I get, that Quiet is involved and she needs the tits of Sniper Wolf, which makes me believe that there's an even more ridiculous usage of the female body in Metal Gear Solid 1 as there is in this one, in which they have to explain that a woman is a mutant just to see her in a bikini. Anyway, next comment. Pyro Biggs. Oh, I better read it quick because I don't want the rain putting out Pyro Biggs's comment. Okay, some actual advice this week. So it looks like Lil Liquid Eli has been a bit of a fucker, so you need to go round up the rest of the Lost Boys. I believe, actually, that's where I was. That's the mission I just did, and which uh, ended with me here, which resulted in me being here. So, um, take DD. I, I don't have DD, I have, I have Quiet. I'm trying to raise the um, friendship with Quiet to the maximum. You've got to be... Oh, take DD and a silent sniper, because you've got to have one by now. I do, it's just lethal. I have a sni silent sniper, it's just a lethal one. Good for murdering. To get dirtier quicker, get more cl up close kills with something that makes a mess. I guess my knife to the jugular could make a mess. And I always thought that the blood goes up on a sort of more morality based system than proximity based system because it seems to get bloody when I'm miles away anyway. The rain's going to wash my clothes off anyway. This has been the biggest problem. And I thought we were. Where, where are we right now? Angola or something? Yeah, we're in the wrong place. Africa has once again thwarted my evil morals with its rains. Good damn. If anyone wants to sing that song about blessing the rains down in Africa, then to hell with you. Because Toto keep ruining my chance at growing my horn. This would all make sense if you were aware of... If you know what we're talking about, you know what we're talking about. I guess that's all I can really say there. Anyway, uh, Pyro also said, If you keep doing that whilst doing a bunch of missions in a row without going back to Mother Base, you should get your moment. Good luck and have fun. Uh, well, I'm going to have to start afresh again because of the goddamn rain. And last comment, Andrew Charleston, I expect more snake eater and ladders from now on. Emoji of a snake. Well, that's what I'm planning to do with this. If, if the rain goes away, then I can try and sneak up and get up close knife to the jugular kills on all of these guys if possible. And then finish off with a nice little bit of what a thrilling up this ladder. After that, I don't really know. We're just going to be winging it this week. The story seems to happen when it wants to now, and I don't have much control over it. Before the end game, it was easy. You just do the yellow missions. But now you have to do any missions. It's, I don't even know what the rules are anymore. What are the rules? Get up close, kill him nice and personal. Uh, finally, from Charleston, stealth mission, meaning a break on the tank runs. I have been doing a lot of tank running lately, so that's probably a fair, fair piece of advice. Also, getting quiet to her highest bond level should unlock her final mission. And that, that goes back to Pyro. That's why I'm not bringing Dee Dee for a bit. And I, wa I want to get quiet up to her maximum bullshit. Anyway, let's see how close we can get to these fuckers before we get immediately caught. And then after that, I guess we'll try and do an actual mission. This just happens to be a location I'm at. I can try and practice maybe a no-gun run. There are way less people here. And it is night time. And no grenades either. Let's see how, how how well it goes, just trying to get them up close and personal. It's something I've never really mastered in this game, which is annoying because it's the main kind of the main skill you need to play Metal Gear Solid is is skill in a stealth game like this. I just keep getting seen. 
All of my plans always go awry. And I find other stealth games to be relatively easier, like Assassin's Creed and Hitman. Hitman I like because you can you can change your clothes, so you don't actually have to worry about not about being seen. Just being seen by the right people in the right outfits. I've always liked that. Ho oh, hum. Anyway, I'm gonna try using a decoy. Oh, I don't have any decoys. Grenade seems too loud. Stun grenade feels too loud. And that's a flare grenade, so that's going to call in a bunch of motherfuckers. Smoke grenade. Just to distract the fuckers. There's a bunch of motherfuckers over there. Prone rolling to victory. Oh, wait, 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 wait. They're all too close together. I've got a bait bottle. But this is meant to be for animals. Let's see what happens if I just throw it over here. Bait bottle. Separating these guys is going to be the trickiest part. Alright, well they've gone off over there. This guy's coming around here. Well, I've been immediately caught. Congratulations to me! No, I haven't. I haven't been caught. Just gonna steal him. And down this hill I go. Okay. I yeeted him, so I was supposed to get him with a knife to the jugular, but uh, the whole thing was a little bit complicated at the time, as I'm sure you noticed. I think being spotted would have gotten me a mission failed in one of these missions, or mission modes that Charleston has been talking to me about. But either way, gonna keep on rolling, baby. Just try a stun grenade and then just fucking run at them. Come here, kill. Death, death to all humans. Murderous, but effective. Because that's the, the objective here. Trying to get some blood onto my suit. And then get out of here before it rains again. That's the plan. Whoa! Are you going to see the body? No, they did not. See if I can get closer to these guys over here. I mean, I can, but is it a good idea? That's the question. Steal their carrots while I'm at it. Is he just going to see me straight away? Oh, this is a terrible plan. Just going to shimmy over here. Hmm. I'm walking around in circles. Maybe if I get my other bait bottle over there. Bait! I baited you. Go to the bait. Not, don't look at me. Look at the bait. Go to the bait. Be like a b an animal. Be like a bear. Embrace your bariness. Kill as quick as I can and get away from the body. He's gonna find the body. One of these motherfuckers is gonna find the body. That's why I need a stun grenade.
Fuck you. Fuck these guys. I need to get immoral as fuck. It's all gone to shit. It wasn't immediate though. They didn't catch me immediately. So that's fair enough. There's one guy left. Tell me where. Tell me some shit. Anything else? Okay. Blood on my jacket, please. Done it. We've done a very basic guard post. We still managed to get caught at least once. But I, I didn't use my gun. So so that's a thing. That's the thing I did. However, I, I am going to use this rocket. Oh, it didn't kill him. That killed him. Okay, brilliant. Alright. Now we've killed the people. It's time. Yeah, boy! Oh, we got to the top. Right, well, here we are in the desert. What is there for us to do? Please mission list. Mission. Need to do some of these guys, I think. Total stealth? Mission accepted. The map has been updated. What am I about to get myself into? Who knows? Those cursed rains down in Africa. Wait, I can still eat this? There you go. Another base is going to be happy. A totally destroyed wreck of a vehicle. Okay, well, let's just um, let's just take it easy this week. Let's just wing it. This is going to be a total stealth mission. If we come across. There's another base up here. Maybe we can practice some more stealth. See if um, Quiet can do her business like normal. We're just going to peg it o over to this part of the map and just see what adventures come up on the way. That's my thought. Not quite sure what Wicked Butterfly is. I might not be able to no-gun this particular area. Alright. Quiet's on the move. That's good. Potentially. Ooh. Okay, we've got a bunch of guys here. We got a lot of fuckers. We've got a lot of the fuckers. Actually, I think cover me is fine. If I can just call around stealing things while Quiet does all of the immoral things for me, hopefully I can still get some blood on my on my jacket. Of course, Quiet did start an alert with the cover me function, so it might not be the best thing. Because there's mortars coming in now. Can we steal from here? Nothing to steal. Did she kill everyone? I think she's taking care of everyone for me. Yeah. On to the next base we go. Cheers for that, Quiet. That was handy. He took care of everyone. Alright, well, let's try it, try it again. 
Oh! Two people up here. Oh! 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 Oh no! They... They definitely already know where I am. Right? Is he looking at me? I'm just going to crawl off in this direction. Ah! Did I... Oh, shit! Okay. That was interesting. Quiet killed him just in the nick of time. That was amazing. Am I being shot at or are they shooting at Quiet? It's hard to tell. I feel like I feel like I've survived these alerts so far. I'm just passing through. I've been to this base a couple of times. Not really a fan of this area because of how many guards there are. If I'm completely honest. Right. How many guys am I surrounded by right now? Is that a decoy? That seems to be a decoy. Yeah, that's a decoy, surely. Oh, for some reason, something popped up over there. I'm going to go steal some shit. Total stealth is going to be a real challenge. Not going to lie. Even harder than the no gun challenge. I may have to resort to using some some kind of silenced pistol in this. Should have gone for a lethal silenced pistol. I have to call up the helicopter to drop some things in. I can just hear quiet going around murdering everyone. That's good to know though that she's done that. We can just sneak past. Nice and easy. It's like having training wheels for sneaking. Quiet will take care of the enemies. I'll just focus on finding a nice little sneaky path through the place. And climbing this ladder. Oh yeah. Here we go. My heart. So I, I like this bit. You're so supreme. Oh, damn it, I got to the top again. God damn ladders in this game being too short. For the entirety of Snake Eater. What have we got over here? I missed! But I'm going to hit them both the second time. Just like Gamora. That wasn't very sneaky. Let's swap out my weapons. Right, I want the silenced woo pistol. That's going to land on me. Just on time. Get this weapon sorted. And then we'll get that sniper rifle on the go. Here we go. Right here. Right here, balloon. Drop it here. Thank you very much. Perfect precision, as always. Last thing. Supplies requested. Here we go. Come to Snakey. Come to Snake. Thank you very much. Cool. I've got all my crap back. Keep jogging across the desert it is, then. Avoid the water. What have we got over here? Anyone? We've got dudes. I think I want Quiet to stop covering me for this one because I want to get some more kills in this place because it looks kind of small. Analysis complete. Ah, oh, that could have been a double headshot and I got a, 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 a nil, a no headshot. No headshots. What's the opposite of two headshots? I don't know. No headshots is close, though. 
That was a that was a nice shot there. This is me testing whether it's the morality or the proximity making the blood happen. Just because I, I feel like there's been times where I've been very bloody. I should probably um, practice my aiming a bit more. There we go. Practiced it. All good now. Oh no, need to practice a bit more. Thank you, thank you, quiet. Thank you. There's a guy down here I can kill with an up close thing if I get there quick enough. Here we go. And I'm just going to roll around in a puddle of blood for a minute, see if that helps. I don't think it's proximity to the blood that makes the blood go on snake. I should be way more covered in blood than that. Pity. Oh, we're starting to get close to the actual objective. I've only been playing for 36 minutes so far to start the first mission of the episode. Something's starting to get close to level 40. Bloody crab, A++. Creeping bull. O ochre cat. <laughs> and my favourite, the doom husky. I don't even want to know what the names of any of the other ones are called now. Because we've got our favourite, the doom husky. Alright, Snake, what's the mission? What have we got to do? Episode 36. Total Stealth! Footprints of Phantoms. Footprints of Phantoms. I don't entirely remember from the name, but I have a feeling this is one of the ones that I had trouble with. In non-Total Stealth. This is going to be even worse in Total Stealth. I'm going to be prone rolling the shit out of this mission, because that's the only stealth move I know. This mission. There be a rock up here. I'm gonna go up to this rock. I should have brought the goddamn rocket launcher. Who oh, hum? I got quiet on my side. I have to do this completely silently, though. That's gonna be trouble. I'm on the other side of the hill. I need to kind of go here and then here just to get up there. Well, not there actually. How do I remove that? Marker there we go. Removed. Here. What have you got to say? We'll do, buddy. We'll do. I don't want Quiet to cover me because she's going to set a bloody alarm off. Oh, what? Just wandering around in the ocean in a... Ocean? Maybe that's why I failed. I was mistaking the desert for the ocean. So I got spotted running freely f through the fields like a young Theresa May. Okay, and then I spawned in front of them. One more try. Just to see if it's possible to get away from these fuckers. Because I, I, I don't want to be seen by these guys. They were. I can't just sprint th freely through the fields like I wanted to. Bit of a problem. This is the same mission that I was on when I tried doing this in no gun mode. They're actually walking this way. They're going to catch up with me if I'm not careful. So I'm just going to crawl down here. Oh, 
Oh, just getting spotted by an animal count. I hope not. There's the fuckers. Do I just wait for them to go past? They're walking past me. They should have gone past me. Yep. Okay, we've got more things over here. That's probably two more guards. Analysis complete. Uh, have they both got helmets on as well? No. Analysis complete. No helmets. So we uh, made it across that road. Now comes for the moment of truth. Getting up on top of a rock so that we can take down some walker gears. I've got an idea. I've got a plan for what I want to see happen. Don't want to shoot any. Oh, we got claymores. That's what that light was. That's what that light was. I am a lucky person. I, I very nearly went straight through all those claymores before. Without even realising that there were claymores. Anyway, got to get up this rock somehow. Let's hope there's no claymores about. Quite a lot of movement. Is that someone on the rock? I hope not. It's going to spoil all my plans if that's the case. Sun will rise momentarily. Oh no. They're all going to see my leopard print pyjamas. Out in the broad daylight. We don't want that. Right. Somewhere up here. Looking out for claymores, because I didn't spot a single claymore. I didn't realise that there were claymores. Uh, I don't want to go that way. I want to go this way. Up here, on top of the rock. Get my grenades ready. I believe the other robots are on the other side of the rock. And if that's the case, we're going to see some kabooming. Pretty imminently. Set off my sonar again. There's a whole bunch of them around. So we've got two here. There they are. All right, grenade. Do the trick. Come on. Haven't been spotted. I wish I hadn't missed with the first lot of grenades though. That's my bad. Don't spot me, don't spot me, don't spot me! Great. No targets remaining. Your objective's complete. Exfiltrate out of the hot zone by chopper. I am just a box on the side of a mountain, as far as you guys are concerned. They know there's something up here, but I don't think I've actually technically been spotted, and if I hadn't missed with the first grenades, I think that first set of grenades is gonna cost me. Yeah, let's got to wait for Pequod and then we'll be ready to cool it. See what mission we got. Mission grade. Mission rating, I believe is the word. Rating. Grade. And then I guess we'll go back to Mother Base and see if there's a cutscene. Or maybe this is just going to be a one-off in the desert episode. The rain's down in Africa. Who knows? Who knows what the episode name will be yet? 
This cursed rains down in Africa. Alright, alright. Okay. Come on, Pequod. Yeah, let me in. Let me in, Pequod. Let me in. Let's get out of here. Hope this doesn't count as being spotted. Cheers, quiet. Where have you been this whole time? I always forget that you're with me sometimes. Yeah, well. We did it. Doesn't count as being seen. I don't think we've been spotted. I mean, they definitely could see me now, but I don't know if this bit counts because it would have said mission failed, right? Pretty sure. Yay! Codename Shark, rank S, didn't shoot a single gun, and look at all those zeros. Look at all of these zeros going on. No hits, no combat alerts, no headshots, no accuracy. Wait! <laughs> Alright, let's go back to Mother Base and see what happens. Pretty sure you said this last time, Ocelot. That's right. The shell company that owned Mfinda Oilfield. So Saner was just a front for Cypher. The resupply won't be happening just yet. But we did learn that the Walker gears are transported out of Nova Braga Airport. Apparently there's a distribution network on the Savannah that links all the PF outposts. I'll have the Intel team investigate this network. If Cypher is supplying PFs with Walker Yeah, uh, you said this. You said this before. Oh, so lot. He's stuck in the past. I guess we're replaying an old mission, that's why, but... Thanks for that, Ocelot. Thanks for telling me all that stuff. Really needed to know. Vengeful Mustang is all I got there. And maybe that's how I feel. Like a vengeful Mustang. Nah. Oh well, looks like there's no cutscene this week. Um... I'll, I'll try and do something about that for next week but for this week cheers for tuning in and um, hope you enjoyed the more winging it approach to the episode it was all in one one area this time no skipping back and forth between places it was mostly focused on trying to be sneaky and uh, yeah that's me for the week give me some Hideo Kojima or Metal Gear Facts for the comments for next week. We'll do some research. And then planning it out, let's have a look and see what mission we can do next. Please select a mission. Extraordinary. We're going to do this mission next because it's a yellow one. So tune in next week. We're going to do this. under my orders to investigate the extraordinaries that showed up in Cyprus. The man on fire and the floating boy that keeps showing up where they're not welcome. Apparently they were the subjects of some top secret research conducted by the Kremlin. Fortunately, that meant our informant drew the attention of the KGB's Directorate S. And they took him out before we could make contact. That if sounds did, pretty interesting. In a film canister and hid it somewhere in Spookmake Key. Just before he died, he transmitted VI of the hiding place to us, but the data was cut off part way through. The image is far from clear, but it might provide the clue you need. Well, they have it. Oh, wait. Here we have it, still. Alright. We have already dispatched a Spetsnaz squad to retrieve that film canister and cover the whole thing up. Boss, there's no time to waste. Head to Spook May Keep and use the VI as a clue to find and retrieve that target. That's what we're doing. How are the man on fire and that kid connected to Skullface's plan? I've wondered this for a while. I mean, the man on fire is Volgan, but we don't know why he was Volgan. How he was Volgan. How he was on fire. 
yeah, we've got plenty of questions about most of the stuff going on in Metal Gear Solid. Hope you enjoyed this episode though, because I only just learned this little piece of information just as I was wrapping up. There's a really interesting mission coming next week, apparently, based on what he just said. Or it's just going to be a lot more prone rolling around in the desert trying not to get seen. Either way, this happens every Monday. Put a little like down and a subscribe. And cheers for coming down. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.